he supposed to come see me after he left court. But 25-year-old Eli Ganey never showed up. His fiance, Danielle Gaines, said the reality of the situation still hasn't hit her. I just don't, I still don't really believe it. I, I think it's more so it's just I'm trapped in a nightmare. A nightmare made even worse by the lack of answers. And Eli and his friend Reese were um, just, you know, hanging out outside of Coleridge, you know, and two guys apparently ran up and started shooting and, you know, took off and that's literally all I know. I mainly just heard the shots going off and people arguing and everything and it was just chaotic. All that's left of the chaos is this bunch of flowers tucked into the sidewalk near where Stacy Willard lives at the Coal Ridge Road apartment complex. She told me she heard about 17 gunshots just around 6 o'clock Thursday night. I was terrified. She's praying for the two-year-old boy who investigators say was shot in the leg. It breaks my heart. I mean, I don't see why a cold-hearted person would even think about shooting a child. It hits too close to home for her and her own toddler. I'm trying to get out myself because I have a little girl to take care of. It's terrifying because it could have been her, you know. As the community, family, and friends begin to grieve. They've messed up so many people's lives and, and it's never going to be the same again without him. They're demanding answers and that something be done. I want justice for Eli and his friend Reese. You know, they, the family, and they deserve it. They, you know, they were both young and they both had their whole life ahead of them. In Asheboro, Haley Fixler. This wasn't, it wasn't time to go. It wasn't, this wasn't supposed to happen. Fox 8 News.